Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video I will be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 4 to your computer. This means that you will be able to play any PlayStation 4 game you want right at your computer desk, which is pretty awesome. To start off with, all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you need to press which operating system you have. I'm going to go ahead and press Windows PC, as that's what I am using. Once you've finished downloading the file, you need to then run the setup file, and you need to go OK. You now need to go Next, and we need to go I Accept. You can then go next and you can choose the location or where you'd like the program to be installed. I'm going to install this in my D drive. Once you're happy with the location, we can go next again and hit install. Once the PS4 Remote Play app has finished installing, we can go finish and run the application. You now need to pair up your controller to your PC, but before we do this, you need to turn on your PlayStation 4. Once you've got your PlayStation 4 turned on, you now need to go up and go all the way across to settings. Once you're on settings, you need to go down until you come across remote play connection settings. You now need to click on that and make sure you have enable remote play and connect directly with PS Vita slash PS TV enabled. You now need to go back and go all the way down till you find devices. You now need to go on to Bluetooth devices and you need to press on DualShock 4 and you need to press disconnect. You now need to go back to your computer. We now need to connect our PlayStation 4 controller to our computer. We can do this either using a USB cable or a Bluetooth adapter. There is a link in the description below to a Bluetooth adapter that does work at the moment with the PlayStation 4 controller and it's actually pretty cheap. I'm now going to go ahead and plug in my PlayStation 4 controller through USB. You now need to go to settings and we need to change our resolution quality. If you want to change it to the best you do need the CUH 7000 series PS4. I'm going to change mine to high on 720p and you want to change your frame rate to high which will be 60 frames per second. Once you're happy with all this you can now press OK. If you do come across a bit of lag whilst using this then you may want to turn your frame rate down and the resolution as it does all rely on your internet connection. We can now go ahead and press start and you will need to log into your PlayStation user account. Once you have logged in and everything's all connected, you should now have your PlayStation on your computer screen, like I do here. We can now go ahead and put our PlayStation in full screen by hovering down in the bottom right hand corner and clicking on the arrows. I'm now going to go ahead and boot up a game and see how well it plays on my computer. And there you go, I am now playing Ratchet and Clank on my computer with no problems whatsoever. Also, if you are having problems connecting your PlayStation 4 to your computer, make sure you have fully updated your PS4 as this may cause some errors. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.